welcome students here we gonna enter in the fourth and of course the last lecture of the chapter resource and development so maintain your energy till the end of my lecture there are many topics which we have already covered and today we are going to cover these yellow topics before starting my lecture i would like to discuss about the homework question my question was what are the areas which are still not surveyed by the government of india so these are the areas of india which are still disputed and not surveyed by the government of india let's begin with the lecture soil soil the uppermost layer of the earth crust which is loose broken and useful for plant and living organism called soil this you may observe in this soil profile also here it is unweathered parent rock weathered parent rock subsoil weathered rock and this is the what we are talking about the soil upper layer of the soil this soil is not only for plant growth in fact if you will take one handful soil then it contain the number of microorganism equals to the total number of people in the globe formation formation of soil formation uh, soil kaise bante hai to uske liye forces of nature erosional agents such as wind water glacier it consists of organic and inorganic components like minerals phosphorus etc we can this we can uh, here by mistake it has written main it was main man depend on the soil directly or indirectly for his food shelter and clothing agriculture can be practiced only if soils are available soil are the essential are essential for growth of forest these were the common points we can differentiate differentiate the soil on the basis of the factors what is their color what is their texture what is their age on the basis of these we can classify the soils and that is exactly our next topic classification of soil in 2015 there was a question uh, write any three characteristics of black soil so this question can be asked for any of soil any one of soil so today we gonna learn about all type of soil which is given your ncert book let's start with the first soil that is alluvial soil and we are very fortunate that this soil is the most widely spread soil in india it is formed by the river deposits kaun si river ki baat ho rahi hai himalayan rivers like ganga yamuna indus brahmaputra and as well as the plateau rivers peninsula rivers such as kaveri godavari krishna our region is very blessed with these with the soil with this soil that's why the northern plains are highly populated isn't it age ke basis pe और एलिवल सॉइल को हम टू पार्ट्स में डिवाइड कर सकते हैं बांगर और खादर बांगर इज द ओल्ड एलिवल सॉइल खादर इज द न्यू एलिवल सॉइल बांगर कंटेन कंकर नोडियोज इन एट खादर कंटेन्स फाइन पार्टिकल्स सो दैट्स वाई विच वन विल बी द फर्टाइल वन येस ऑफकोर्स दिस वन दिस खादर नेक्स्ट सॉइल इज ब्लैक सॉइल ब्लैक सॉइल का कलर ब्लैक होता है इट इज कॉमन सेंस बट वाई इट्स कलर इज ब्लैक ये ब्लैक कलर आता कहाँ से है इट इज बिकॉज इट फॉर्म ड्यू टू द लावर डिपॉजिट्स एक्सट्रीमली फाइन क्ले मटीरियल होता है इन द समर्स क्रैक पड़ जाते हैं बट फिर भी मिनरल्स को लेकर ये काफी रिच होती है दिस इज ऑल्सो नोन एज द रेगुलर सॉइल एंड इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज द कॉटन सॉइल बिकॉज 
it is good for the cultivation of cotton. It is rich in calcium carbonate, magnesium, potash, lime. It means these all are the components which are favorable for the cotton cultivation. It develops deep cracks during the hot summer and becomes sticky due to high moisture retention when wet. This is a very strange feature. Hota hai. Next soil is red and yellow soil. Here I have pasted the photograph for you so that you may easily identify these soils. Next soil is red and yellow soil. Here this one is the red soil and it is the yellow soil. This red soil, this red color is due to the diffusion of iron in crystalline and metamorphic rocks. But when it is in the hydrated form, it turns into the yellow color. Generally, it is deficient. Uh, in nitrogen and uh, nitrogen humus and phosphorus but uh, se semi arid environment mein humus aur poor ho jata hai to crops ko grow karne ke liye jo condition hai soil ki wo aur zyada kharab ho jati hai lekin agar is pe thoda sa attention aur isko care di jaye to isko cultivation ke liye use kiya ja sakta hai kuch thoda bahut cultivation isme kiya ja sakta hai the next soil is which is completely hopeless hopeless in the terms of cultivation and irrigation no it was laterite it is laterite soil it develops in the area with high temperature and heavy rainfall due to the intense leaching if you will look at these picture this easily you may find out then find out that what kind of uh, uh, laterite soil could be humus content of the soil is low because of the most of the microorganism particularly decomposers like bacteria get destroyed due to the high temperature next and laterite soil are suitable for the cultivation with adequate dose of manure and fertilizers. Next is arid soil which is completely hopeless in terms of irrigation and cultivation. It is saline in nature, kahin kahin par to soil uh, itna zyada salinity hoti hai ki agar wahan pe evaporation ke through hum salt bhi bana sakte hain. Just imagine water retention बिल्कुल भी नहीं होता है सो कुछ सेमी एरिड रीजन में इरिगेशन के बाद कुछ क्रॉप्स को ग्रो किया जाता है एंड एरियाज इसके गुजरात राजस्थान इन एरियाज में ये वाली जो सोइल है वो मिलती है एंड दिस द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ दिस टाइप ऑफ सोइल इज ड्यू टू द हाई टेंपरेचर एंड इवैपोरेशन ऑब्वियसली this is uh, also very easy because uh, this used to be found in Rajasthan and in the Rajasthan the temperature is very high due to the high temperature the evaporation rate will also be high. Next soil is forest and mountain soil as the name itself suggesting that it is found in the hilly areas and the rainforest areas. In this, the soil texture varies according to the mountain environment. Uh, in the lower part of the valleys on the river, terrace and alluvial fans are fertile. This used to be found in the hilly uh, and mountainous areas like uh, the areas of Himalayas in Shivaliks or Middle Himalayas. In the snow covered areas, the soil experiences denudation and are acidic with low humus con content. Here is the map of India which is highlighting the, uh, the different type all type of uh, soil in this. This green one is highlighted with the forest and mountain soil. Here uh, this blue one is 
showing as alluvial soil it is showing as red and yellow soil this one this part this brown one and uh, this one is known as this gray in color it is the black soil and uh, here in the uh, coastal areas it is found as laterite soil yes laterite soil is good for the cultivation of cashews don't forget because it was also there in the uh, in the board exams in 2009 in 2018 i think yes and uh, this yellow one it is known as uh, arid soil next topic is soil erosion Soil erosion, the denudation of the soil cover and subsequent washing down is described as soil erosion. In general terms, we can say that the removal of the first layer of the soil could be the various factors, process of the soil formation and erosion go hand in hand to maintain the balance but this balance is disturbed by due to the natural and human causes in the natural causes uh, they are very few like erosion or uh, uh, but if you will see the human activities there are a lot of human activities which are uh, resulting the imbalance in the in the formation of the soil and erosion of the soil it means imbalance it means the erosional rate will increase and the soil formation rate is decreasing so that is known as imbalance there are the three type of erosion are given in your book that is sheet erosion gullies erosion and wind erosion sheet erosion when the first layer in this picture you may uh, observe when the first layer of the soil is removing first layer is washed away the first layer wash away uh, hat jati hai jo top most layer hai soil ki to use sheet erosion kehte hain gully gullies erosion uh, this is known as gullies erosion where the vertical the downward cutting by the rain uh, due to the rain or glacier taken place so that is known as the gully erosion wind erosion when the wind in a vast surface uh, vast area like rajasthan uh, where there is uh, no green belt or uh, on the other words we can say the trees are not there so in those areas the wind erosion takes place causes of the soil erosion causes of the soil erosion in this uh, like deforestation overgrazing construction mining it all these all are the work which is done by the humans and erosional agents like wind water glaciers etc this is only done with the with, by the natural these are the natural causes for the imbalancing and this is again the defective farming method is also done by human beings some prevention are also there by which we can reduce the soil erosion so uh, in this first one is contour plowing contour plowing uh, in this plowing along the contour lines can be decelerate the flow of uh, the flow of water down the slopes is called the contour plowing uh, second is terrace cultivation you must have observed whenever you have um, gone to hilly area so in the hilly areas it is very common in this the steps can be cut out on this slope making terrace terrace cultivation restricted restricts restricts the erosion in the western and central himalayas have well developed terrace farming next is strip cropping strip cropping uh, in this uh, this type of strip the field is divided in the different type of strips in the strips like uh, in this picture has given first strip is of corn 
then oats, then hay. So, when we are uh, doing the cultivation in the strips, uh, when the large field can be divided into the strips, strips of grass are left to grow between the crops and this breaks up the force of wind and this method is known as strip cropping. Next is shelter belts. Shelter belts are the planting of trees of uh, planting line of trees of the trees to create shelter also work in the similar way rows of such trees are called shelter belts. These shelter belts have contributed significantly to the stabilization of sand dunes and in the stabilizing the desert in the western India. If you will observe then uh, the government is usually saying that we should plant trees so that uh, desert should not desertification should not take in place towards Delhi because from Rajasthan the desertification is approaching towards Delhi. So for that we uh, we should plant more and more trees. Fifth is control on overgrazing. Next is afforestation, control or mining, improved farming methods. This was all about the lecture and now I would like to tell you about some about a fact which is related to this chapter only. In this United States of America have discovered 20,000 of different kind of soil and you have uh, studied in your book only six type of soil and the same United States of America ranked at the first position containing maximum percentage of the world. So that's all for the today's uh, lecture. Hope this video will be, is going to be helpful for you. Thank you. Stay home, stay safe.